Hey everyone, I'm back with another video and today I'll be showing you how to set up the MX Master and Logitech Flow on Windows. So let's get started. Okay, so you first have to get to this website. I'll put this in the link in the description or you can just search Logitech Flow on Google and it should be the first thing that pops up. So just go to Overview and then you'll see this little downloads button. I already have the application, so I'll be skipping that step and going straight to Logitech. And the, apps, uh, the application is called Logitech Options. So you just wait for that to open, or you can go down here and it should be, should be down here somewhere. Just wait for it to load. It's a little like, okay. So the application's open. And if you have your mouse connected over Bluetooth or through your dongle, like this one, focus it a little bit. This dongle comes with it. There's no place to put in the mouse, so I just like leave it somewhere in my room. Anyway, so you can change your middle button to do anything you want. You can change the mode shift. I just use it for the super fast scrolling. And there's also the gesture button. This one shows everything. Or you can switch screens. It's pretty cool. Okay, and you can also switch the volume. I, I have a volume up and down, but then you can also do a horizontal scroll. I actually feel that uh, this would be more useful. You also have forward and back. You can change these to anything you want. Even a keystroke make it a macro key and there's also point and scroll if you want to change how everything here is thumb wheel sensitivity uh, fixed scroll wheel mode you can change that to free spin or ratchet uh, it actually changes automatically if you do really fast or you can like scroll really slowly it's actually pretty cool and then you press that button it'll keep going and it won't stop so that button keeps in place and there's also logitech flow so I will be bringing my MacBook right now and I'm going to get it set up so that both computers will show. It's going to look a little funky on the screen, but bear with me. Okay, so now everything is loaded up. So you just want to press the plus button, but you got to first go to flow on both devices. And then you got to enable it and then you should be able to fix it. Yep, it's health connected. This one's also setting it up. And in a few seconds, yep, continue. And now they're connected. So I get the mouse, I move it to this side, and I can move it on my Mac. And then you can move it back. And then you can also move it here. So I'm gonna do a quick test with um, something real quick. Let's do this Arduino, uh, Arduino file. So I'm going to copy from here, and then from here I'm going to move my mouse to the Mac side. And then if I paste item, uh, you see I have this Arduino application over here too. So if all I have to do is open it, and it should be the same file. I'll open it on my Windows just to make sure it's the same thing. Just wait a little bit, it's a little laggy. So to do this, you have to have your Bluetooth connected to both devices so that uh, it'll actually work on both. Okay, so my Windows actually loaded it first. And there's a bunch of code here. And then if I go to my Mac side, uh, it should also be the same. Yep, it's the same code. Uh, we actually had only a new, I new UID one. Let's reopen it. Oh, sorry guys. So you get the idea. It's the same file. You can copy it from one system to the other. It's really cool. You can move it between devices. And yeah, it's pretty it's pretty useful actually. Um it actually it sometimes takes a while if you want to move files between things, but you know, it's usable. You know. Like you could 
uh, do like different stuff. Hold control and move to the edge because if you don't want it to move every time you go to the left side of the screen or right side of the screen because sometimes that gets a little annoying. Oh yeah, here, it opened up. So you get the idea. It's the same code and you can move between both devices. It's really cool. And uh, that's how you set it up. I closed the wrong application. But it still works even if the application is closed. It's pretty cool. Um, that's basically it for this video. If you liked it, please give me a thumbs up. And if you want to see more videos about this mouse, um, subscribe and stay tuned for more videos. Thank you.